Come on. Come on, Roja. I believe in you. Let's go! <laughs> Roja connects for the sweet baby. Let's go, Roja! We got the galactic key from the warehouse. We must save, and now we must face more enemies. Oh, wait, up here. Okay, so this is floor 2F. I gotta be careful, because there's the guy with the Porygon on this floor. He's the scientist with the Porygon. Absol or Umbreon? Umbreon, 100%. Not even close. I'm not gonna lie. It is Umbreon 100% of the time. Don't skip optionals. I'm trying not to skip the optionals. I'm actively trying not to do that. So we got we got Goldbat, Goldbat, and and or Goldbat Houndour. I do have good taste. I like to think so. I will say Mega Absol's pretty cool but not cooler than shiny Umbreon, so what are you going to do? Did I hit myself in confusion? Okay, come on. You gotta pay attention. Okay, that's not very effective. Nice. Granite, I believed in you. Nice. Granite is killing us with the avoids. That's one. Come on, man. I usually say granite. What? Granite. I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm missing something. I'm missing it. Oh, no, I can't switch. That's good. Granite. Oh, ha ha ha. <laughs> I super right over my head. Granite. Huh. Yeah, I was, I've always pronounced it granite, like grannyite. Use ah 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 ah. That's how you say that. I'm gonna give him the sky plate because it's gonna maximize that wing attack damage. So here's the strats for this Porygon: technician, wing attack with a sky plate. That's the strat. That's how we're gonna beat this thing. Okay. We're gonna save. Yeah, welcome from France. Okay. Pretty sure it's this guy up in here. There he is. This guy is a menace. Level 42 Porygon. <laughs> Oops. Porygon 2 with that. Oh my god, he traced technician. Psychedic, single... Okay, none of his moves are do less than 60 damage, which is good. Wing attack. Yep, so he gets the X special, which is fine. This should do huge damage. If it doesn't kill, we should outspeed. Okay. Outspeed. Got him! Uh... Isn't that the Psychic Porygon 2? That Porygon 2 has Psychic, Signal Beam, Ice Beam, and Tri-Attack. Which is crazy. At 42 with an X special attack, that's probably one-shotting everything. And so we needed to two-shot it, and we did! Which is good. So I'm glad we could do that. Um, okay, uh, yellow. Oh, this is... Interesting. It's the gathering of Team Galactic. Let's watch the cinema. I'm gonna I'm gonna read it in a voice. 
fellow members of Team Galactic, hear me. My name, as I appear to you today, is Cyrus. This world of ours is a crude one in a world that is incomplete. It has been and always will be a struggle to survive in this world. We humans and Pokemon are likewise incomplete. Because we are all so lacking, we fight, we maim, it is ugly. I hate the incompleteness. That we are all incomplete, I hate it with my entire body and being. The world should be complete. The world must change. Then who will change it? Me, Cyrus, and Team Galactic. Yes, all of you, together. We poured over myths and exposed their secrets. Together, we captured legendary Pokemon. And now, Team Galactic has obtained the energy to change the world. The power of dreams is within our grasp. Yeah, why is there not cheering after that? Understand it, fellow members. My long-held dream world is on the verge of becoming reality. All those headed to Mount Coronet and those who remain here, through our missions may differ. Though our missions may differ, our hearts beat as one. Let there be glory for Team Galactic. <laughs> Wah! Master Cyrus is the greatest! A yeah, average Trump rally be like, <laughs> The boss of Team Galactic. Quite the performance, no? Mesmerizing for one only 20... He's only 27? Cyrus? Is only 27? No, hold the hold the phone. I guess he does look kind of young. They're saying this is 27. This looks like late 30s, early 40s. No, am I crazy? This guy's 27. That is not something I've. Look at this guy. This guy's 27. The more you know, apparently. Anyway. Yeah, he looks... I was gonna say, he looks older than me, and I'm... You know, 30... Oh, well, turned 32 in a couple months. <laughs> Ready? We're gonna do an actual double. Ready? I'm gonna use the restroom quick, actually. I lied. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> We're back. Alright, double battle time. We didn't have to do this as a double battle, but we're doing it anyway, because it's just a Stunky and a Stunky. Or sorry, a Stunky and a Crow Gunk. And then a Crow Gunk, and then a Stunky, and then a Glamia. But we're leading with our Ace Squad members. Okay. Let's... Mud Bomb, Sucker Punch, Nasty Plot, Poison Jab. Okay, well, you can't hit me with the special... Why does he have Nasty Plot if he... Uh, I don't know. Sucker Punch, Poison Jab. Yeah, those are all physical moves. Um, they both have it, so... Uh, I, well, I guess we just... Aerial Ace the Crow Gunk. Hold on, what's the best way to do this? Aerial Ace... Uh, I'm gonna dig the stunky. Then I'm gonna uh, also aerial ace the stunky. Get wrecked. Monkey. Scythe shouldn't be here, and its Sizzits have the same BST, the same base stats. Scizor is the S-tier encounter, for sure. Uh, I'm not going to fully disagree with you, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, it feels a little OP, but it is a little lock-eligible Pokemon. Sim same with, like, Duraludon. Um, so it's kind of like... I don't know, man. Feels like it'd be super fun to use. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll probably restrict them if I ever like do something like that again just to make it harder. But for the first playthrough, 
just to see where we can get to, I'm okay with using it. I'll I'll suck it up. Got him. We only now we now have two Pokemon left to deal with. And those two Pokemon are Stunky and Glammeow. Are Ind Royal Green and Indigo speed tied? I feel like they've been tying them and stuff. Oh wow, didn't switch out. Should have used Dig. Royal Green, OP. Bam, baby, that's a double battle in the books. Let's go. Oh boy. Here we are at the big baddie. All right, we're gonna save. Save again, and then I'm gonna reset it um, because I think it's off by just like a little bit. And then we're gonna face Cyrus. All right, y'all ready? So the plan, lead with Nickel, um, get a Stealth Rock tr uh, Trick Room Gyro Ball. Um, I'm probably going to give him, uh, keep that on him, keep that on him. Okay, I'm so, I just switched up their items a little bit to just uh, help myself get a little bit more good guarantees. So, you've come. You heard my speech, I take it. <laughs> a big lie, of course. The big lie. It's... Uh, did I give people... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I gave everyone their vitamins. In my... True inso it's true insofar my intention is to create a new world, but that world isn't for the likes of Team Galactic. I seek an entirely new world solely for myself. If not, it could never be the complete and perfect world. You've seen my minions of Team Galactic. You yourself must know that they are uniformly useless and incompetent, or incomplete. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about Yuxi, Mespirit, and Azelf, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I'm finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I could care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have, those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they? But still, you come to rescue them out of pity? Such pitiful, useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and faulty human heart. You were compelled to come here by such vacuous sen sen ugh, sentimentality. <laughs> uh, I will make your regret paying heed to your heart. Let's go, baby. I will say being 27 does make it seem like having emotions is bad. <laughs> so that's not surprising uh, that he, this guy said that. I got to remember he has a full restore and a hyper potion. Okay. Uh, Stealth Rock. Let's see how much this does. Oh, that was a crit that did 51. Okay. We should get our uh, Citrus Berry back. Yeah, nothing like to kick off this battle with a crit. So we Trick Room, and then we Gyro Ball, which should kill. Hmm. That didn't kill, that only did half? 
Okay, so 51 is still the damage to do. Gyro Ball again. This should kill now. <sighs> nice crit. Let's go. That's one. I thought it's speed difference. You think that would be crazy? Maybe not. Okay, Poison Fang, Air Cutter, Bite, and Supersonic. If I had to guess, it wants to use Bite or Supersonic. And so on that note, we probably just switch to Steel, because, oh, Poison doesn't affect it. Is Air, Flying is Double not very effective? Yeah, Flying's Double not very effective. Dark is just one, it's not even the type. And then the other thing that I have to worry about is Confusion, which seems unlikely for it to use, but who knows? If I had to guess, it probably wants to bite. Okay. We should... This is... One, two, three. This is turn four of Trick Room. It was easy, easy. It was either that or Sneasel, and it seemed this is like probably the better play. You gotta love that Choice Specs Discharge, baby. Okay, I think it's one more turn of... Okay, no, that was the last turn. Is it only four turns? Drill Pack, Drill Pack, Nightshade, Astonish, and Faint Attack. I don't think any of these kill. I might as well just check quick, because it doesn't hurt. 46. It'd be Faint Attack, Nightshade. Uh, is that what he got? Nightshade, Faint Attack, Astonish, and Drill Peck. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, Faint Attack does at most 72, and I am at uh, Magnemite. Eighty one. And I am at sixty eight. I'm at eighty four. Nightshade it is fifty six, but nightshade doesn't crit. So there's that. So now we oh, uh we yeah, we don't outspeed, so we just do this. Oh, we do outspeed. I didn't think that would be a thing. Oh, that's right, super luck is a thing. <sighs> Good call. Granted it's still it's faint attack was the only thing is that it could do. Thick in German is crazy. This I don't know why this Magnemite's so speedy. That makes no sense. Is it unless it's it might be plus speed minus Hold on. Easy Cyrus, baby. Easy. Not even. Master Ball, thank you, sir. It's going to Mount Coronet. I will say the Cyrus finale is definitely harder. So there's that. Let's go heal up our guys. To the bed. To the bedroom. To the bed, to the bed, to the bed, 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 to the bed, to the bed, to the bed, 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 to the bed, to the bed, to the bed, 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 to the bed. That's such cool sound. Ah, wub, 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 wub. Okay, so this guy's got. Golbat, Bronzor, and Toxicroak. Uh, who's the best? I guess I can just no, because Granite's not going to be useful against the Bronzor. It's either a talent. I guess I could just do Steel. It's a foul if you're a first time player, true. Um, I might just lead with him and see how it goes. Because it should kill the Golbat if it killed the Crobat, so. You might switch into Toxicroak, and if that's the case, then Poison Jab, Brick Break, X Scissor, and then we just switch into Royal Green and go from there anyway. God, it's so cool. Wub, 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 wub. I feel awful about what we did. This experiment went too far.
Yuxi, Mess Spirit, as Elf. Let's go, Saturn. Let's go! Save the spirits, uh, spirits of the lakes. They need the wub wub behind this too. Just my personal opinion. Oh, confuse Ray. Air cutter bite poison fang. So it's air cutter or bite, which is means it's bite. Come on. No. Okay, should be okay. Got him. Okay, Toxicroak right away. Poison jab, brick break, X scissor, faint attack. Poison jab is neutral against our royal green. Brick Break is double not very effective. X Scissor is just singular not very effective. And Faint Attack is not very effective? No, it's just single not very effective. Okay. So we should be okay to switch into this. If not, we got Indigo. Maybe we switch into Indigo first. Now that I think about it. Because Poison's not good against Ground. Yeah. Fighting is not good against Flying. Uh, bug in dark. Uh, bug is fine. In dark is also fine. So let's let's do indigo first because we can always U-turn. Plus we can dig. Well, br even brick break into Scyther is like totally fine, mostly because. Uh, uh, mostly because fighting is not very effective against bug and not very effective against flying, so even into that, I wouldn't be super worried about it. Okay, we just aerial ace again. Scyther is cr Scyther is crazy. It's like the perfect Saturn counter for this Toxic Rope. Last but not least, we got Bronzor, which this, we I think we just, uh, I don't know what it's going to use. So I think we just dig. I don't know if it has Levitate. It might be heat proof, but I feel like sometimes they don't give them Okay, it's gonna extra sensory. Okay, it does have levitate, so there's that. So I think we just U turn into. Nice crit. I think it's just royal green. Yeah, it does. It's, the only thing it has is Gyro Ball, which extra it used extra sentry, so Sneasel would have been perfect, but risking the fact that it could have just switched to a Gyro Ball for no reason is, like, absolutely not worth it. Um, both of these are neutral. I'm pretty sure we just go x -Scissor. Easy. That's Saturn down! That is the first part of Team Galactic. Fine, do whatever you want. Set them free. Bye-bye. <laughs> Go be free, Lake Spirits. That's probably it for today. We started the Team Galactic. We got to finish Team Galactic next week. And we'll kind of just go from there.